Yo guys, we're back with you know what. You know, finally got a chance to get in this Top Deck magazine review. And um you know, I, I mentioned something about this and so you haven't forgotten about it, just not getting around to it. A lot of things happening right now, plan on with the relocation and all that, saving money. A lot of openings got nerfed and yeah, you know how it goes. Yeah, when I got this is condition and kind of um, what you expect for coming out for like over 14 years ago but it still looks pretty good for the, what it could be in um, base 2 packs pretty freaking beat up like it like Pidgey I got his forehead slammed, forehead slammed on the wall or some of it. I'm trying to see what that is back there I can't tell what that is it's some some kind of demo of the legend of five rings looks really generic and it got this this weirdo on the back but anyway might have something to do with magic but yeah finally got around to it really nostalgic want to get no, right right into it Alright, yeah. When it says G for honor. We really, really don't really know what that means. 187 card. Encyclopedia Secrets of, the, of all 13 houses. Revealed the complete L5 R story. Pokemon Adventure Game Jr. Awesome. Wow. We all love that, guys. Yeah. It's really old. This is... I don't even know what issue this is. This is like... Wonderful. Top deck. April 2000. God, that was a long ass time. We probably can't see that because the camera sucks balls. But anyway. Oh yeah, Diablo 2. You know you're looking at some really old. Oh, doesn't that chick look hot to you right there? Oh, big ass man hands. Oh. Yeah. Uh, everyone walks away when I don't know what that is. Track of this. Feeling alienated on Earth, Cyber Town looks really lame. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go through the whole thing. This little um excerpts of one ex whatever we want to call it. Um, yeah. Okay, that's not going to do anything. But um, I guess this is about people jacking cards. <laughs> Since one has a Crime Stoppers ever worked. Why would somebody want to steal unlimited nine tails? Char the Zard. Graded Charizard. Going for six dollars. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Um Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good stuff right there. Trigun. That's they need to you know bring more animes back like that. Yeah, um, wow. I know somewhere in this, this magazine they had, like, um, tell you the value and what the cars was going for back then. And outside of the country, they was going for all kind of ridiculous prices. But now the cars, they're, like, completely dwindled. And it's, like, the other way around. Like, people paying 600 for, or 500 for unlimited base boxes. Completely retarded. What? That's what happens. Yeah, we got cars and um, damage counters. I didn't not know that. Well, that's this is some really old because they, they they switched over the counters. I know that. I'm not even into the TCG. I just I was into collecting when I was in middle school. Um, I think this is like over like how many pages? Anyway. 
I know someone else, um, you know who did another review. He had the original one. He went over the uh, one with the fossil booster pack. And uh, there wasn't another one done ever since then, so I'm doing another one to keep it up. Awesome, Gary Oak. Come on, you know you guys like Oak. Okay, these pictures are terrible. Um, yeah. Then we got you. You know what I want to say. <laughs> Not even gonna soil my video, but yeah, I think this is one of those pages. Yeah, it is the one. Um, I'm trying to find what exactly what the ridiculous prices were on. Um, because it got it at the top, but I can't I can't find where the booster boxes are. But they're showing like Magic Together revised and all the other sets that was going for ridiculous prices, like buy you fifteen bucks. That's nothing to what it is now. But they they got okay. They got some of the. Well, they, they can't be a limited cards. Nineteen dollars for Alcazel. F that. Charizard is seventy nine. Yeah, that's a limit. Well, fast forward. I ain't missed nothing good. What is this? I don't know what that is. It says fire. Um, Shogun Shadow, something like that. Yeah. Too bad we pop these open and like lose all its value like everything else associated with WOTC. That's how it goes. It's reading the opposite direction. What the hell is going on? I'm trying to find something. Alright, there we go. Base set first edition. Booster pack going for $65. God, what? Oh, it's terrible. These prices. $65 then? When, when you guys went to like Target, was it was the packs that much? I don't remember because I, I didn't get, I didn't have the experience because while I grew up, I got screwed because the only thing was left was base there too, and then that shit was sold out. I was so pissed off when I, when I was a kid. I was, I was so mad. So mad. They got the magic over there. Okay. What I'm really concerned about is the first. I'm gonna look at these first edition prices later, but I'm gonna go get to the, what needs to be gotten to. You know, to that booster pack. Don't know what that is. Probably. I have something about later. Okay, where's my... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn it. I forgot if it was fourth from the back or fifth from the back. Oh, boy. It's gonna be terrible. Persian, Magic Card, Plus Power, Polywag, Caterpie, Magnemite, Cubone. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck Victory Bell. Fuck my life. But anyway, that was the uh, Top Deck Magazine review. Just for the nostalgia. This is the the official second one, so anybody want to continue the um the trend, you can just keep it up. If I open up the um, I think there's another one on here where it, it had the actual creator on there, but I I can't find it because they're getting kind of rare. But it's like a dozen of these with the X with the uh, Electabuzz. I might do another one in the future, but right now I'm not sure. There'll be more uh, openings for probably later on after I relocate. This is probably like the last thing. But anyway, thanks thanks guys for tuning in. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah.